skipping a bunch of stuff, then they're gonna just take a while, and Fallout 3 has so much to do that there's ju it's just gonna take forever. Even if I devoted it as a primary project. So anyways, now that... Back to my point. Um, I guess a more permanent or pertinent whatever question would be a more relevant question for you guys would be uh, which would you rather like to see me do um, in terms of my let's play style or routine or whatever would you like to see a variety of different games that I may or may not get done anytime soon um, or would you like me to stick to just a few games and, you know, stick with them until I get them done? Because um, that's my dilemma right now. I don't really know what you, my audience, would prefer. And I know a lot of you would say, well, just, you know, make whatever kind of videos you want at your channel, etc., etc., but... On the one hand, I don't want to just stick to one or two games and bore half my audience, you know. But on the other hand, I don't want to provide a variety of gaming footage from different games um, for my audience if most of my audience would rather see me actually finish a game sometime soon that I'm working on, you know. So... Yeah, if you guys have any opinions on that, let me know. I, As I've said plenty of times before, I am all about the interactive part of this channel. You got your guys' participation. Um, so any opinions, any suggestions, anything you guys want to tell me, just let me know in comments, video responses, whatever. What would you have me do if it were up to you? And if you uh, have any suggestions for video games that you would like me to let's play that maybe I haven't already um, or haven't er discussed or mentioned or anything, let me know. That's fine too. <laughs> Damn it, one of them hurt my leg. Yeah, I'm gonna have to shoot you in the face. I'm also running out of ammo. These guys just won't die. Oh! Let's switch to a different gun. Apparently I killed them both somehow. And it wasn't even stealth, that's probably... That's probably why all that happened. Okay, let's go ahead and heal my limb. Stupid grenade. See, this is why I play stealth. Stupid stuff like this doesn't happen if I'm sneaky. I have the upper hand, and that's always better. Speaking of stealth, um, I don't know if you guys have noticed by now or not, through my various Let's Plays that I have up already, but I do prefer... A stealth approach when possible um, because I like to have the upper hand in combat situations and if I'm sneaky and stealthy well my enemies can't see me until I want them to most of the time unless I do stupid stuff like I did earlier so and that doesn't have really have any bearing on anything I just thought I'd mention that because I happen to realize this a few days ago or whatever. I always make stealthy characters. I always prefer the stealth approach. In Mass Effect 1 and 2, Sam Shepard that I played is uh, Infiltrator, which is uh, meant to be a stealth stealthy kind of character. A, a sniper, if not all out sneaky. And In Mass Effect 2, he was certainly more sneaky than Mass Effect 1. He was more of a sniper in Mass Effect 2, too, but that's because of the whole issue with the gameplay mechanic of the 
sniper rifle sucking in Mass Effect 1, but whatever. Even this character I play here, Sam MacGyver, he, uh, he's, I play him as a stealth character even though his skills are not s certainly specifically built around it. His stealth's not incredible right now, but I still sneak around to have the upper hand. I guess that'll be another question for you guys. Which type of character do you prefer if you have the choice to uh, build a character? Um, in this kind of game or in other games, you know, do you prefer the stealth type character? Do you prefer a uh, uh, gung-ho, get right into the fight, strong, you know, fighter, Duke Nukem type gunner kind of? Brute character. Okay. So I told you about James, the guy from the vault. And then I told you somebody else crawled out of there too. Right. Well, guess who came to visit old I thought there was supposed to be an item in here. Maybe we got it already. I thought there was supposed to be a reason we came in here. Maybe well, yes, it gets better. Turns out Vault Dweller number two was none other than James's kid. Well, I we can know, sleep in I here and heal up anyway. Okay, but I probably already got the item and have no idea kid is for his dad. that I got it because I haven't James. been paying attention. I just I'm James terrible at multitasking. The kid why. Talking and gaming at the now same time. Oh no. That James is a scientist and is working on something this bunker in here is actually the main reason I wanted to explore the, uh, the, uh, whatever this is, I forgot what I called it, the ditch, or whatever, the place out here. I also figured this would be an easy place to play and rant and rave and Until I totally missed time, a trap. This is three Grenades are going to go off in the background <laughs> and on me apparently because I'm a moron. I thought I was away from the grenades but whatever. We get to heal up again because I'm a... Oh and it's the same way. How nice. But a stim pack heals all wounds. Yes. Yay. Okay so uh, I pretty much got done what I wanted to do. So I guess we'll just randomly walk around for a little while. So, let's see, um... I do have plenty of games to Let's Play, by the way. I do have... I. I do have plenty of games. I have, for the PC, that I have yet to uh, even think about Let's Playing, and by the way, mentioning these games doesn't mean I will Let's Play them, I just have them as an option. <laughs> just throwing that disclaimer out there so you, I don't get people's hopes up for something that may not be possible. Mostly due to technical limitations, if nothing else, but... I have games for the PC like uh, Splinter Cell Conviction, Conviction. Um, what else? Let's see. I have Alpha Protocol, which I currently somewhat sort of in the process of playing um, myself in my free time just for recreation and fun. Uh, I haven't got too far into the game yet. Um, And I also have this and Dragon Age Origins to get through on the PC. And Dragon Age Origins Awakening, I've got that as well. I don't know if I'll ever get to that. <laughs> I'll have to get to Dragon Age Origins first. But um, I've got Diablo 2 as well as the expansion Lord of Destruction for the PC. I don't even know if that came out for any other system. I don't think it did. 
because that was a long time ago. That's an old game. Um, I've got a lot of Xbox games, original Xbox games, mind you, not the crazy Xbox 360 stuff. Um, like um, Knights of the Old Republic 1 and 2, and uh, Halo, of course, and Halo 2, Half-Life 2. Uh, PsyOps, The Mind Gate Conspiracy, which is a fun game that ended in a cliffhanger, needs a sequel, and is probably, at this point, never going to get it, which is a shame. Uh, let's see, what else? Just off the top of my head here. Mech Assault 1 and Mech Assault 2, Lone Wolf, and, uh... Well, I showed you guys all these games in uh, various update videos, so... You know what I have. I have a lot of games already.